Good day everyone, my name is Lizelle Grimo and I'm going to present to you my master thesis study and it's all about lesson using illustrated instructional materials in grade 7 biology. Students today's generation are considered as a visual learner since, since the world today is focusing on a drastically changing world of technology. One way to combat this plan is to teach students in a way that seems like a game. Teaching science is always a challenge. Teachers have to find ways by which students can catch with the lesson and use the information to improve the learning and teaching process and achieve the quality of education design. Instructional materials is a generic term used to describe the resources teachers use to deliver instruction. Learning materials are important because they can significantly increase students' achievement by supporting students' learning. Instructional materials plays a great role in students' academic performance and can add important structure to lesson planning and deliverance of instruction. This verifies clearly when these tools stimulate, encourage, and make students understand the subject matter. Mat instructional materials with the use of pictures, drawing, charts, and illustration is often designed to facilitate learning and have a positive effect. The effectiveness of visual information is considered with a cognitive, and cognitive learning and retention. So basically, my study, my goal of study is to develop lesson incorporating this um, developed illustrated instruction materials where it discusses or I used um, the same competency where I add some pictures or illustration or charts in the lesson so that student can easily comprehend the lesson. So, most of the students today's generation based on studies are, you know, visual learners. And as you can see, the textbook given by the deaf ed are bombarded with text. So some students did not, or will not able to comprehend well the lesson because of this. So that is one of my innovation to make the lesson more creative and interesting, especially in science. And one of the research, or these are the research problems presented. Number one, what illustrated instructional materials in grade seven may be developed to enhance the understanding of biology? Number two, what is the nature of interaction that takes place in the conduct of the lesson? using the illustrated instructional material. Number three, what is the level of acceptability of the illustrated instructional material as assessed by letter A, students, B, science teachers? And lastly, what is the effect of the developed instructional materials in terms of conceptual understanding in biology? And B, students' interest in biology. So, Let's proceed to the theoretical paradigm. So I used um, actually four theories, the dual coding theories, visual learning, cognitive load theory, and the theory of instruction. So let's start with first with the theory of instruction by Jerome Broner. So as um, Jerome Broner is a psychologist who supported the cognitive theory of learning in empathic in terms of developmental aspect of learning and its implication to teaching. Broner theory instruction emphasizes teacher's role in instructional and learning process. He focused on the responsibility of teachers rather than of the students or learners to acquire learning. As applied to the study, this theory suggests that one of the main goals is to facilitate learning, the use of effective instruction and strategy in teaching. This is also determines their strength and weaknesses and define enrichment or improvement of weakness, thereby improve the quality of instruction and learning process. 
Another three theory I and mean, serves as the foundation of this study is John Sweller's cognitive load theory, which states that learning happens best under the condition that align with human cognitive architecture or area of instructional design. This theory also states that effective instructional material facilitates learning by directing cognitive resources towards activities that are relevant to learning rather than towards preliminaries. This theory explains that students can learn or lear students' learning can be molded and improved by creating a supplementary tool for learning that will help learners to improve conceptual understanding. Third is the dual coding by Pavio proposed that information is stored in a long-term memory, both as verbal promotion and mental images. It suggests that when information is presented verbally and visually, it has a better um, chance of being remembered. Corroborating research shows that concrete words and that pictures alone are remembered better than words alone. From dual coding perspective, concrete words help us generate associated words in addition to detailed mental images. The combination of verbal proposition and mental images establish multiple pathways by which information can be retrieved from the memory. And lastly, the study is anchored on the theories of visual learning and constructivism by which provide contextual learning. Visual learning style is where learner utilizes graphs, charts, images, maps, illustration. It also called spatial learning style, which is a way of learning with information associated with images. The theories involved in visual learning all agree that people learn more deeply from words and pictures than from words alone. However, simply adding words to picture is not an effective way to achieve learning. Visual learning further propose two separate channels, which are auditory and visual. For processing information, that each channel has limited or finite capacity and learning is an active process of filtering and selecting, organizing, and integrating information based upon the prior, uh, the prior knowledge. The next one is the conceptual paradigm. Um, one of the role of the teacher is to manage the learning and passes onto the learner's concept and understanding and treating them as this empty vessel which science teacher feels, usually a teacher can feel. Instructional materials aids makes learning real and promotes retention. In addition, proper presentation of good instructional materials employed by teacher will enhance good understanding of subject matter. The use of illustration as instructional materials could enhance text narratives. This study promotes the use of instructional materials with the aids of illustration as technique in enhancing the nature of interaction in the classroom during the conduct of the lesson. Level of interest in improved conceptual understanding in biology. Using illustration as instructional materials is a good way to make lesson more memorable to learners involved. Instructional materials can be interactive and can help customize the learning processes. The expert critically evaluated the lesson using the illustrated instructional materials in biology by assessing the level of acceptability of the illustrated instructional materials, acknowledging the nature of interaction during the lesson, and the effect of learners' conceptual understanding and the level of interest in biology. The conceptual framework shows that the interrelationship of the variable in this study. All right, let's proceed to the methodology. So to determine the effectiveness of developed illustrated instructional materials, a quasi-experimental design was used. This design involved two groups were pre-tested 
and post-tested, but only only experimental group was given the treatment, which is the developed lesson and the illustrated instructional material. Shown below is the diagram of the design. All right, so I think um, it is clear and it's simple. Uh, I will, this um, diagram shows or explain everything on my methodology that I made. And the sources I, of data is, of course, the expert, five expert teacher. Mostly they are master teacher from senior high school and junior high school, biology major, uh, biology teacher, eight biology teacher from uh, Galeanosa National High School. Um, by the way, don't say five experts. Um, some of them are the professor from different colleges and universities. And of course, um, students. I use grade seven students from Galeanosa National High School since I teach them. So I that is my uh, work of assignment. All right, instrument that I used. First is the, of course, expert LDM, LRMDS assessment and evaluation rating sheet for print resource to validate the developed illustrated instructional material materials. Letter B, teacher's observation tool as per DepEd memorandum. Letter C, student's journal entries. Letter D, student teacher's acceptability tool for developed illustrated instructional material. E, conceptual understanding test, and F, interest in biology checklist. All right, for data gathering procedure, my st statistical treatment I use is the frequency count. The weighted mean presented is the, here at the side, is the formula. The mean performance score, and the t-test. All right, for the result, all right, for question number one, research problem number one, actually I make 14 developed lessons integrating the use of developed illustrated instructional materials in biology. And one of this is the parts and function of the compound microscope, how to use a compound microscope, levels of biological organization, common diseases of major organs of the body, Cell as the basic unit of life, plant cell and animal cell, beneficial and harmful microorganism, sexual and sexual reproduction, offspring produced from a sexual and sexual reproduction, fertilization process, components of ecosystem, ecological relationship and ecosystem, and en energy transformation, and lastly, cause and effect of changes in abiotic factors. All right, so these are the findings. All right, all right. For the conclusion for research problem number one, the developed illustrated instructional material in grade seven biologies are the following presented. All right, the next is for number two, research problem number two. What is the nature of interaction that takes place in the conduct of the lesson using illustrated instructional material? So my findings, the nature of interaction during the conduct of lesson using a developed illustrated instruction materials will describe qualitatively. So for the conclusion, the nature of interaction during the conduct of the lesson using illustrated instruction material creates possible direct interaction between learners and the environment, promotes a positive climate and arouse the interest and participation of students during the teaching learning process. For um, research question number three, what is the level of acceptability of the illustrated instructional materials as assessed by students and science teachers? So based on the findings, okay, let's proceed to conclusion. The level of acceptability of illustrated instructional materials along the criteria content under the teacher's evaluation garnered outstanding and very satisfactory on part of the students. Level of acceptability of this illustrated instructional material along usefulness is outstanding for the teacher's evaluation and very satisfactory for the student's evaluation. 
The level of acceptability of illustrated instructional materials along design is outstanding for the teacher's evaluation and very satisfactory on the part of the students. Overall, the level of acceptability of developed illustrated instructional material along teachers' evaluation is outstanding and very satisfactory along students' evaluation. All right, for research problem number four, what is the effect of developed lesson using illustrated instructional materials in terms of conceptual understanding? So that is the findings. Um, so I pre-tested and post-tested both experimental and controlled both yes both experimental and controlled group um, and here are here is the conclusion so the use of illustrated instructional material was found effective in developing and enhancing the conceptual understanding of the students so there is an increased um, significant increase on the conceptual and their understanding by using this developed illustrated and instructional material all right letter b students interest in biology so i also um pre-tested and post-tested the kind of uh in this question so for the conclusion um, based from the findings, from the evaluation of the students' level of interest in biology shows that students became highly interested in every lesson, science, biology, after being exposed to the developed illustrated instructional materials. And for the recommendation, here are the recommendations um, given or I, that I gave. For the net future researcher, number one, the developed illustrated instructional materials in grade seven biology can be adopted and improved by biology teachers. And number two, teachers, particularly science teachers, should develop instructional materials to enhance students' understanding, seemingly abstract concept in science. Number three, create an instructional material that would increase students' interest towards biology and promote effective learning and cooperative learning activities among students. Number four, students learning material to help them in teaching learning process as prescribed in the curriculum. Without modules and other instructional material, students' learning is negatively affected and their learning level becomes dense, resulting to least learned competency. Number five, the use of illustration as instructional materials should be reinforced to aid in the teaching learning process, especially in the conduct of activities and class discussion. Number six, there must be a person who is an expert in ICT that should validate the illustrated instructional materials. And number seven, further improvement of developed illustrated instructional material so that's are some of the recommendation that i will give for the future researcher okay so that are my references and thank you very much